So yeah, we're playing Call of Cthulhu again. We're um, this is uh, part of um, a lark in a cage, which was written by um, Noah uh, uh, Noah Lloyd, <laughs> but it's oh, been yeah. heavily modified by me. Yeah, um, and um, this is a gaslight setting, and. Uh, Who's uh, who's gonna do the recap in character? Uh, I guess I will. not me. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, well, I have an interesting story to tell. Uh, by the way, my name is Joseph Kelly. I'm a cabbie. Uh, not part of an organization that studies, uh, tries to deal with occult type uh, situations. Although I'm relatively new to it myself. Uh, there was a lady out on the street asking for the organization, uh, trying to hail a cabbie. So I interjected myself and brought her there. Unfortunately, our detective wasn't there, so we had a, the second string working. We had a, um, myself a cabbie, a book dealer, and uh, an antiquarian. I uh, went to investigate. She has uh, a baby that she is certain has, uh, is now a, ch a changeling because it, it Change person, it changed personality, and it um, uh, has very odd situations. It was the um, it doesn't like light, it's constantly colicky, uh, and a particular note it doesn't particularly care for milk. It likes blood. He found that out when it bit when it bit her. Um, um, we looked at it, confirmed. Uh, I, I'm Slip my finger, confirm that it does does indeed like blood. Uh, looked around the situation. We are assuming that her husband is uh, well. Let me get. I'm getting ahead of myself here. She thought. Uh, I mean, the initial thing was a vampire, but it didn't. It, fa it failed. It didn't. Uh, it passed all the tests for that. So it's not even. Um, they, what do they call them? A damp damper? You know, have have. Vampire half uh, a human out of folklore. I don't know if those things even exist. But anyway, I came to it's true that it was, well, you know, it could be an intuitional deficiency. Let's take, take the portal maybe to the doctor. And we took it to a, to a doctor that's also an organization. Um, he prescribed it uh, iron, this, that, some supplements on that. But you could tell he didn't think that was... Uh, so the, the solution. Uh, another one of our, our our book dealer and the antiquarian did some research, and uh, it seems like this creature, this baby, is a half or a quarter ghoul. Uh, he's got a father, a kind of unusual looking father that could pass for a human. Uh, my guess is he fell in love with a human, uh, thought. Since uh, she was human and he was at least half human himself, possibly, that the offspring would be the favor of the human side, but apparently he doesn't. He's been trying to drink himself to death after he gets after he gets off work and they're having marital problems. In the meantime, we found out um, about some um, bodies coming up around places where they're doing um, the... Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Boundary uh, Public Works Project, one other place, uh, their um, bodies or body parts turning up uh, the, uh, and um, they seem to be cut with a scalpel. It's a very, very, very precise cutting. It's not even like a, a good butcher's knife. And uh, the, uh, some of the, we found the corpses, they've been bloated, but not, like they were submerged in water, like they were subject to high pressure and had bins. So right now we're trying to decide what to do and where, where to investigate next. Uh, and that's all I have. It's a very strange situation. This is really my first real case with these, uh, with this organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, 
if you're all because I think that you you staked out the house kind of or you you watched what was happening mm -hmm. um at the house you saw the husband come in late kind of drink for a while or you assume um because that's what the um the wife told you that he was drinking a lot he was keeping odd hours and eventually he did go to bed um but he was kind of puttering around his basement where he had like a little workshop um and he is, is some kind of an architect um he has uh, a uh, when you're in the house there's all kinds of uh like architectural kind of engineering plans for these different projects um like you saw on the walls there was um framed different um like um architectural designs and stuff and um articles about his these uh projects that he had his name attached to um kind of a wealthy family sort of upper class uh, but then I think you did eventually you head back headed back to the agency um so oh and uh, let's see so our our antiquarians did some research and uh went to um uh Moreland's and uh did a little bit of research and if found some information about ghouls um and um yeah i think you you maybe would have come across some kind of disturbing stuff about um some of these cults these um uh cults that are obsessed with um like uh for, uh the afterlife or uh living forever through eating human flesh uh things like that and also necromancy um and necrophilia <laughs> and uh, you would come across some you would know that there are these groups like uh in paris for instance there's the there's the sort of the necropolis that's under Paris and then the um all of these uh, um the the catacombs would have these bodies that are stacked up high like cordwood but there's cults that are sort of associated with ghouls and or whole cities of ghouls that supposedly live under um graveyards of of major cities um but uh <clears throat> yeah, I think that you you did you did see that there was all of these these bodies and the the Peter Sargent and these projects these um, projects that are going on all over the city and there's a connection with the bodies that are showing up with these ghoul you know these ghoulish um, uh mutations and um body parts or our bodies that are showing up that have been not or had uh dismembered in strange ways um but also including whitechapel like where the where the ripper used to um hunt his victims So is there anywhere you would like to, because you already staked out the house. Is there anywhere else, anywhere else where you might want to go look around? I thought well, one, of, primary... us, I thought one of us was trying to get into a basement. Uh... Uh, Joseph was, wasn't he? That is Joseph, right? I can't read. Yeah, I mean, that shouldn't be too hard. I don't think we'll even have to break in, although we'll have to kind of 
give a hint to the mother that maybe there's a little more going on. This is, might be that this might be a family condition um, on her husband's side. Um, I, I, I anyway, I think we can somehow if we, if we word it right, get her to give us access to the basement when he's gone. I'd yeah, also like to bullshit that a person yeah. could kind of barely fit through. Yeah, if, if we could do that, we could we could just shimmy down the coal chute. Yeah, I, if, if nothing else. But we I mean, do some research mother... on this guy and his family too. Yeah, um, but that you know, like the mother, um, she seemed like she was happy that somebody didn't think that she was crazy for mm -hmm. once. You know, like she kind of confided in you. So she seems like she's trusts you. And then there's also the um the nanny who yeah. kind of, you know, confided in you as well. Yeah, and she's uh I mean, you know, a lot of I guess, you know, if you don't have another job, you might uh you might be sticking with it because of if she doesn't start to get employment, but she seemed to actually try to 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 help, you know, family. So even though she's been been asked to do some stay longer with the baby than what she's supposed to be, and basically been put upon quite a bit. What do you folks think? We do we want to split the things? When does somebody do research on the uh, um, husband and maybe myself? Uh, uh, be nice to have another backup. Uh, just because I might and myself do the and somebody else do the uh, talk to the talk to the mother and see if we can get access to the basement that way. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to try. Yeah. I'm not sure how good I'd be at it. I could research. I've been a pretty good. I'm pretty good at my version. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, but you, well, I mean, if nothing else, if this guy is a ghoul, uh, I said, and you said there were cults and stuff like that. Maybe you might recognize some books if he has books down there. That would probably mean nothing to me because I can't speak Latin or anything like that. Or don't feel bad, neither. I, I don't don't feel bad, neither can I. But you can still probably recognize the books I wouldn't recognize. Yeah, I don't have Latin either. Well, no, I've got language other. <laughs> He's a bit, yeah, I don't know what <laughs> other is. But considering this is a long time before HIPAA Protection Act or anything like that, doctors get gossip. So I think I yeah. may I be able to talk with some colleagues about this uh, supposed husband. Any okay, kind of yeah, any, so. any kind any kind of medical history, any kind of family medical history. Sure. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. And uh, and you know we don't if we um. Um, if we don't speak the language, we can at least write things down and take it to somebody either at uh, the uh, British Library or to one of the schools around, stuff like that, see if we can get somebody to translate for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I, I nail my Latin one out of four times. <laughs> <laughs> It's better. Well, um, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Pierce, I think you're the family doctor. So you would, you know, <clears throat> I think that maybe you already know that something is kind of up just from like dealing with the father with Peter. Um, because he's like he's very tall, he's gaunt, um, he has these kind of ghoulish features, like he has like sort of pointy ears he has you know he's pale he, he um keeps weird hours he's um you know uh works supposedly works like during the day but he's pale and um uh 
has like just kind of weird like ghoulish features and sort of sets off your you know hackles like raises the hair on your on your neck you like something you like you you've already been kind of researching some of this stuff maybe um but uh as far as like the the baby is definitely anemic um iron deficient and well just probably all kinds of like magnesium you know all kinds of minerals um potassium you know deficient um and it, it's kind of uh jaundice like it has like a um yellowish looking eyes pale skin yeah, it's liverish honey now yeah and it craves blood it bites <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. um but uh okay if, if we if we want to split the party i'm sure nothing bad will happen um <laughs> if uh if you want to do another house call you could totally do that you know you go check on like the next day um mm -hmm. you could uh people could go to the library they could do look for like public records um newspaper articles stuff like that related to this construction company like you know who the who the construction company is. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have bad library use, but I'm assuming somebody has better than 45. Not me. Yeah, I've got a, I've our, got a, our antiquarian doesn't have better than 45. I have 50. 50? The, okay. the antiquarian doesn't even speak uh, Latin. I know where I want to spend my experience when I get it by the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, think, you know what? I think me and Miss Fletcher have something in common. We both find one out of two times the books that we require in the library. Yeah, yes. you guys don't don't forget to mark off your your skills because we we should have we should have leveled you guys up. We forgot to. Yeah. Um, okay. We can do it, you know, at the end of the session, but uh, yeah. I know uh -huh. that a couple, I mean, at least a few of you succeeded on like spot hiddens, like stealth. Um, yeah. Actually, you know, I think I driving. tweeted on a library use. Yeah, library yes, use. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I remember that from last last time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, for the record, last game, I successfully made every roll on my sheet. <laughs> right. Wow. Right. I didn't, but... <laughs> This is this is my whole like I, I trust you until I can't until I until I don't. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you want to do that, if you want to do another house call, you can totally do that. That's it wouldn't seem odd at all. I would actually like to covertly follow the husband and make sure that his day job is actually what he claims it is. Okay. Um who so is that a vote to follow the husband or are we well, splitting up? I mean I've got a I mean I've got a good spot hidden, but I don't have a good stealth, I don't think. I mean I, I mean I'm good at spotting I have stealth, things, but, but it's not good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Um well I mean if you just want to finish your stakeout, right? Then just recon say that after you know you waited like you hung out in that park, and then you waited or you you went and did whatever, came back, got a few mm -hmm. hours sleep, and then um, knew kind of knew his schedule like knew when he was supposed to get up and leave for work, um, and well, then you could follow him. I, I know what I could do. Uh, I'm assuming he took a cab home, right? I thought you were the cabbie. 
Well, I know, I know, I'm a cabbie, but I mean, uh, yeah, but yeah, I was on the stake, and I mean, and the 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 the, the husband, um, did uh, did he take another cab home? How did he get home from where when he came into the house? Um, did he, did, did he drive up in a one of those newfangled vehicles, or did uh, did he walk? So he'd be walking from a train station, or did he was he in a a cab? Yeah, I don't. I don't remember because I think that you you were all hanging out and then you spotted him, like you spotted him head up to his. Well, I guess yeah, he probably took a cab. Probably took okay. a cab. One. Well, then um, before I go, before we go over there, because we got to give him time to uh, to leave the house. Um, I'm going to go where some uh, cabbies hang out that I know in that area, and uh, mm -hmm. see if I can chat them up for some information. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah so um well so the royal naval college would be really busy you know there'd be a lot of people um there are that that kind of area just like across from greenwich village um the uh uh I, forgetting my neighbor my london neighborhoods um but uh, you could you kind of just go across the bridge and then be in like that kind of busy um, downtown kind of area. Um, but he he came he came home rather late, correct? Yes. Yeah. Came came. So home we probably don't late. want to talk to the daytime cabbies so much. We want to talk to the nighttime cabbies or. or... Maybe we well, try to talk both, I guess. Well, hang on. So, um, Archie, did you want to just follow him, like just wait for him to leave the house? Yeah, that was my original plan. Okay, but by yourself, Daring. Uh, I'm thinking that a large group of people following him is going to be much more noticeable than one person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so by myself. Uh, during the overnight uh, watching of the place, I want to acquire and study a book on Latin. Okay, sure. Um, probably have one in your in your store that you uh, been meaning to read. Uh, and so maybe you went back to. Um, back to the store got a few hours sleep and then came back to the house in the morning sounds good um so yeah um kind of late right like nine or ten a.m uh you're kind of hanging around in this little park and then you um see the uh and see um <clears throat> uh peter eventually like come out of the house and he kind of has like his his cup of coffee and it seems like they're maybe arguing a little bit um him and and whoever is on the other side of the door and then he, he just like takes his coffee and like puts it down on a um on like a bookshelf and and then you know, grabs his things, his jacket and all that, puts it under his arm and then starts walking down the street. Um, so can I get a stealth roll? You most certainly can. There we go. survey says did not make it okay so um yeah as you're you're kind of like coming up behind him um and then he uh sort of looks around like he's he's walking through like getting into um how bad did you fail 
Like what what's what was what's your stealth? My stealth is 20. I rolled a 73. 73. Okay. So you're walking, you know, um just kind of walking behind this guy. And then he go, starts heading towards the direction of like the naval college. And then um sort of like is looking over his shoulder. Um almost like he 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 noticed you. Yeah, um and I then he kind that. of he he kind of blends into a crowd. Um okay. like uh and maybe you do eventually see him like hail a hail a cab um and and kind of head off in one direction. I want to note a description of the cab driver. Maybe our maybe our cab driver can uh connect with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. So did anybody you mentioned you mentioned going to the library? Yeah, I was going to. Okay. Uh give me a library use. Okay. Um 40 out of uh oh crap. 40 out of 50, I think. Yeah, 40 out of 50. So regular? So, um yeah, regular success. So yeah, the the you're kind of going through some of these newspaper articles. Um, and specifically looking for like construction projects and, uh, anything that you can tie to this guy. Um, and there is, um, there's a few that come up. There's like some recent ones. The, uh, the Greenwich gas works is, um, it's out, um, kind of close to where you are, like, uh, uh, it's a where they turn where they make the gas for the gas lighting and mm -hmm. they take coal and turn it into gas um there is some um <clears throat> some stuff that's in black ditch um and shoreditch which is nearby there is a um something that definitely kind of piques your interest that there is a morgue project that was um recently built like in the last few years that is uh connected to St. Matthias's church and then the church is built is is very very old like 1600s but they've done some renovations. Um, but it looks like they did like a major kind of update to the uh, the morgue. And then of course, this giant public works project, the um, the Blackwall Tunnel Project. Um, but also well, there's a lot of stuff that's related to the sewers. Um, some stuff on the Isle of Dogs, like where you are too. But mm -hmm. a lot of like big public works projects. Like maybe it's connected with the city somehow or somebody, you know, um, some kind of connections. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I'll uh, write all that down and uh, head back to the others. They're, uh, they're everywhere meeting up and share what I found out. Okay, I'll meet up with um, the rest of them and indicate that. Um... I tried to follow the husband to make sure the husband's job was what he was claiming it was. Unfortunately, I got spotted and he absconded in a uh, cab. 
Oh, by the way, the cab driver looked like this, and I'll explain that to Joseph. Okay. Oh, Steve, okay. I sent you in uh, chat, I sent you um, Discord, I sent you a map of London during the 1800s. Figured you might find it handy. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see. I guess while he was doing that, uh, I was. Um, oh, I'd have to. Victor, are you still there? Yes, yes. Okay. Sorry. Uh, did you want to do something or do you want to accompany me to the house and say that we forgot to rule out environmental factors and would like to check out the basement? Yeah, I would say, yeah, uh, because being the um, family's doctor, mm -hmm. I could even say something like, oh, I forgot my um, bottle of tonic that I just brought here, or I forgot my, my X, Y, and Z here. But, uh, yeah, but we need a way of, we need an explanation for why we want to go down into the, into, into the, the basement. I mean, I mean, I mean, into the basement, not the attic, yeah. So You're looking for black mold. <laughs> Or the whatever the equivalent was, something that produces bad bad vapors or something like that. <laughs> yeah, black mold, trust me, has been around a very, very long time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. A very, very big health hazard. Yeah. Yeah, we must go there at once and mm -hmm. uh uh prevent this lovely family, innocent family, from any kind of harm. Yes, yes. Yes, and judging the the uh typical uh education level of um uh, of the average person in 1800s england you could probably go in there mm. and say you were you need to check to make sure the house isn't infested with cooties and they'd believe you but i think yeah. black mold is is a workable uh explanation yeah Okay, so I guess that's what we'll do. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, when you show up at the house, um, the, uh, the maid, um, opens the, notices you, opens the door, um, hello, are you back again? Uh, yes, uh, what was her name again? Um, what was the character's Liz. name again? Liz. Elizabeth, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, yes, Elizabeth. Uh, uh the doctor, uh, uh, is really concerned. We forgot to check something out here for him, uh, so we need to check it out now. Uh, we're worried about, uh, uh, that there could be mold in the basement. Doesn't affect adults very much, but it affects kids badly. So we uh, need to well, check out the basement, uh, rule that out. Well, they just had a row, so I don't know if it's a good time, but I'll tell the missus and you can take a look. Okay. Uh, is he uh, here? I thought, is he here? I would assume he was at work already. No, he's gone. He's gone. I I, I just, uh, I'll just tell, yeah. tell, um, well, of course. Uh, yeah. Well, of course. Of course, she needs to know. Yes. Uh, uh, will I'll tell Julia. So, uh, yeah, she kind of like walks upstairs and uh, and then Julia it comes down um, and says, oh, doctor, thank you. Good to, glad you're here. Um, I I heard that you have some some news. Um, anything? Uh, I gave the baby the tonic that you gave me. Is she still? She looks better. Uh, she's not crying quite so much this morning. Perfect. More call, I assume. Uh, Julia, you see, um, me and Joseph right here, we might think that, um, there is, uh, a mold infestation in the basement, you see, and, uh, that's very bad 
or a newborn child. So we would like, you don't have to tell the, um, the husband's name, which I forgot right now. Peter? You don't have to tell Peter anything. Uh, you know, you know me, you know Joseph. We'll just go there, uh, mm -hmm. take what we left here, and we'll be out of your hair in no yeah. time. Yeah, I suspect that architect might uh, might take it as personal front if yeah. um, somebody else found something that was harming his child that he for, that he forgot to check out himself. So, um, can I get like a charm roll? <sighs> Most, uh, I mean, uh, whichever you want. Yeah. <laughs> I think because uh, you're because you're kind of lying. I mean, I think that she trusts you, but yeah. you you are kind of lying to her. I I um, have persuaded forty. Yeah, how about persuade? Okay, <laughs> charm isn't going to do too, too, too much good. Okay. Yeah. Let me check if I have something. Right here. Okay, so I have no charm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to spend um, uh, five five luck to bring it down to to uh, regular success. Um, so she kind of leans in and she's like, "You, is it my husband? Is it? Do you think it's something that he, something that he's doing down there, something that's making her sick?" I say wow. here we don't jump to conclusions. We might not know yet. We might not know yet. Yeah. We are investigating uh, uh, a lead, let's say. Yeah. But you don't need to worry, I assure you. Well, no. come, come on. Come just um and then she starts walking down the stairs. Uh and she's, like the and then she points to the to the door of his little workshop, and then she's like, he keeps it locked. Um, she says, you're welcome to look around. I, if it is something in the house, I feel like I should get my baby out of here. I've been thinking about going to stay with my mother. Yeah. Oh, let's see what's there. I, I take it you have the key? No. You don't. There's no master key for that for all the, the locks in the house? Not for this one. Okay. I'm supposed to stay out of here. He doesn't like me meddling in his affairs. All right. Are the hinges on the inside or the outside? I mean, are they facing us or are they inside the door? You're, you're, are you going to pop it off the... I, I I mean, I don't have I don't have any locksmith, but it doesn't take any skill to take a door off its hinges. So. Yeah. Um, and most people don't actually stop to think about that when they're halfway locking doors. Um, I guess mm, lock roll. Okay. Yeah. Yep. 39. So... Okay. Uh, yeah. So the, the it opens your way, so you can take the hinges off, or the um, you know pop the bolts out. Mm -hmm. Um, is that what you are you are you, yeah? So yeah. she's she's like, well, where, where where do you think the mold is? <laughs> oh, I mean, we're, um, I mean, it's a basement. <laughs> it's a. I mean, uh, anywhere uh, where there's uh, a little, anywhere where there's a little moisture in a dark, in a dark crevice. I mean, you know, sometimes I'm broad daylight. Do to help. Doctor yeah. Chris is going to look dramatically around the basement and be like, "Oh my goodness, this is worse than I thought. It <laughs> may be everywhere." <laughs> my dear, and I take her hand and uh, uh, try to calm her down. This is not safe down here. Yep. Let me uh, and Joseph take care of this. And and if you could go wet down our handkerchiefs here, so we can put it on where our 
places and then you just stay out. Right, right away. Um, so she goes upstairs, starts doing that, and then you hear her kind of talking to Liz. Um, and, you know, eventually comes back with wet handkerchiefs and then she's like, um, I'm going to take the baby and I'm going to go stay with my mother for a while. Yeah, that seems wild. Yeah, I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean besides that, I mean, grandmas want to see their, baby, their grandkids, so nothing wrong with that. Um, Liz will, Liz will be here if you need anything. Here's the address and gives you like her contact information, like where, um, it was just about to ask, like, can yeah. you please tell us where you are going <laughs> at your yeah. mother's? Yeah. And she seems like she trusts you. Like, I guess, I mean, you could do psychology, but she seems like she trusts you to just figure out what, what is actually going on, you know? I, I mean, Pierce is not going to do psychology because uh, he already kind of feels a little bit guilty because uh, uh, he's a little bit full of shit right now, <laughs> like yeah. uh, convincing her to do something entirely else. Uh, but yeah, uh, in my mind, in his mind, he's like, oh yeah, she bought it. She bought it. All is mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Actually, can I get that? Can I get that persuade roll or charm roll? Yeah, I just yeah, want to see. I'm sorry, I, I haven't rolled. On the you can check it off. You can check off the box if you, um, yeah, if you get so... it. Like, <laughs> yeah, but it, yeah, it's yeah. it's gotta it's gotta be a natural, right? You can't spend luck, right? <laughs> well, I mean, I think there's like with like charm. I think you have like untrained. It's like fifteen or something like that. I don't know. That okay. is a ninety-three. Ninety-three is much bigger than sixty. <laughs> Okay. So she she kind of like nods, you know. Um and then you know she's like okay. Okay. Um and and like she's on to you. But yeah. she's totally going along with it. she doesn't care. She's leaving. She's taking her baby. Um yeah. and yeah, she's just like you know um uh Joseph, I would ask you if you would drive me, but uh, if you if you want to finish up here um, and, uh, and take I'll, me, but yeah, okay. Um, why don't you just go down to? Uh, is there a little place close by that uh, you can take your baby and sit, say like at a cafe or anything like that, and then I'll pick you up there. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'll just be down here. I'll be at the. The cafe down here um around the corner and uh and i'll and i'll wait okay All right. and she kind of covers the baby up to like yeah uh so that the sunshine doesn't piss it off too much yeah um but okay so she leaves and Ooh. then um yeah i think that you can kind of just do your thing down here um but if you want to pop the pop the uh the door off the hinges you can do that mm -hmm. um if you want to i don't know if you i mean if you want to look around for a key you're welcome to but I would be more than glad to, and I would also keep watch, like, like um, yeah, uh, Joseph, if you have a much more appropriate skill set for this operation, you can attempt to uh, pry open the door uh, completely legally, of course. We are just doing our due diligence uh, yeah. as uh, good friends of the family. Yeah. I will keep an eye out while also keeping an eye for a key. Yeah, okay. I'll do. I'll do a check around for places where people might keep keys because I mean that would certainly be easier than having to take the door with hinges. Oh, it's not that hard. I've done it. Yeah, when I got locked out. Okay, I've got a thirty-six. So and then spot hidden is sixty-five. So yeah, it's not quite a hard. Point. Yeah. Um. Well. Okay. So you don't find a key, but um. <laughs> 
um, as you're kind of looking around, you know, it seems like the, it does spend like, it seems like this guy spends a lot of time down here. Like there's sort of like worn tracks where he, um, comes and goes and, uh, like he's obviously been here like in the last 24 hours or whatever. Um, but there's no there's no key like in the basement anywhere um mm -hmm. and um <clears throat> there is the the coal chute but it's like his his little office area is like secure you know from it's like a room that's off to the side so the the going down the coal chute would have got you into here into the basement <laughs> where you already yeah. are um okay but oh. uh I think yeah. I mean, unless you have lock picking, I think the only option left is to actually take the door off its hinges. Yeah, yeah. Or like kick it in. No, no, no. It's like I, I, have I took a door, in. took a door off its hinges when I was thirteen. So, <laughs> I can't, it's, it's not, not that, that hard. hard. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you just take a screwdriver and just yep, yep. comes right off. Um. So yeah, I won't make you roll for that if you want to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll we'll do that. Do it kind of gently so it doesn't, so it uh, minimizes, uh, you know, so it's not so obvious when we put it back. That's going to be the hard part. Yeah. Is um, putting it back. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah, um, you like pry this thing off of its hinges, right? And, mm -hmm. um, there is all kinds of um, blueprints all over in his office and um, a lot of um, news articles. Like um, there's some stuff that's also related to these um, bodies that have been showing up. And then again, like the, um, the, the newspapers are, it seems like they're trying not to be or at least some of these articles seem like they're trying not to be fantastic or, or um, they're trying not to be. They're trying not to be uh, yellow journalism. Yeah. yeah, they're they're like writing it off as um, accidents that are related to this giant construction project, and then he has um, some of the articles that like you found at the library about him, like the different construction projects and stuff. Um, and uh, can I get another spot hidden? Okay. 31. So that time it is a hard. Okay. So um, you find like you're you're looking around just for, for all, anything you know in this office um you find some um like vials of uh medicine that are of unknown origin <laughs> um there is like a little sort of hidden tunnel um like you move aside and something and then there's like a little tunnel that goes down um and uh <clears throat> there seems to be some uh canned or yeah like canned like in jars you know like pickled sorry pickled human remains like uh some fingers nothing unusual here nothing unusual <laughs> I like, I like to imagine as Joseph actually sees this, uh, Dr. Pierce is just like, hmm, there's so much dust in here and looking at all of these things that really don't matter at all, like at the articles and so on, uh, while jo poor Joseph is getting horrified <laughs> behind, <laughs> behind Dr. Pierce. And I'm going to turn around. Can you believe that he would actually keep all of this papers these are boring stuff they don't even no sensationalism no passion for the press 
Uh, the interesting thing I think about them is, I mean, I suppose you might keep them if you were trying to see how people reacted to it, but I get the impression that he's trying to figure out what's going on with his, with these other things too. But in the meantime, let, uh, let's let uh, get the, uh, take some samples out of one of these George, uh, jars for you to, uh, uh, if you can't identify it, we'll have to take it to a chemist, but. Oh, samples. Um, I actually got my, um, and I point, I got my small uh, uh, doctor suitcase, leather suitcase, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, I can just uh, carefully place them inside there. Okay. Mm -hmm. are, are there enough that he might not notice one being missing? No, it's like, it's, I mean, I don't know. It's like a jar, you know, and then it's got all these like fingers in it. No, no, I don't mean that. I mean the vials. Oh, the vials. Yeah. Um. So if you want to cover your tracks, I think... I'll take some stealth. Like if you're trying to not make it look like you've been in here and kind of rifling around. And then, you know, you got to put the door back on its hinges and all that. Yeah, um, I, I like it. I figured we do make that make that easy just to just get a sample out of a jar, I mean, out of a vial or something like that, or take a vial if there's a lot of them. Then we go to the hard part, putting the door back on its hinges and making it, making it look uh, like nothing happened. Yeah, yeah, I, I so, like that. Yeah, I mean, I think you could take a sample. This, I mean, yeah. like a um, having a little medicine vial, not something that would be out of the ordinary for a doctor to have in his medicine bag, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, or if you, but if you're trying to take a vial or multiple vials or fingers, um, and do we then, need to take? Do we need to take fingers? We know exactly what these are. <laughs> you know what they are. You might take a, a sample really of whatever he's preserving them in, what the liquid. Yeah, if that doesn't, if that doesn't, if that doesn't break the seal to the jar, then we could put a sign on the door that says "Nobody broke in here." They'll, they'll never believe anybody was here. Well, yeah. I figure <laughs> I'll, I'll have uh, I'll have the doctor help hold this in place to where we're gonna we we just opened it just enough to squeeze through. Uh, so, uh, so there shouldn't be any, like, too much of a thing on the, uh, on these old style, uh, locks, you know, uh, because there, there was a lot of give anyway. Yeah. yeah. But then, then had, uh, uh, uh the doctor, um, kind of help, help me prop that up while I get this screwed back down and, um, uh, um. Kind of just do a little buff away some of the scratch marks around it, you know. So, I, I'm sorry, just one thing. I didn't get the squeezing through part. What, what? Okay, well, okay. You're opening it from the other side of the. You got the lock here. You got the hinges here. Mm -hmm. If you open mm -hmm. the, if you take it off, you can take the thing. You can um, lift the thing off easy, but then it's a lot yeah. it's harder to get through. But you can also, if you're small enough, you could just kind of. Move it a little bit I, and squeeze through. Okay, I, I, I then I understood it correctly. Where Doctor Pierce is a seventy size and is a corpulent, rotund man. That's I mean, okay. mm. I don't okay. think I want to be able to do that. So yeah, I kind of am like, well, that's a good plan, Joseph. But I think I, I hit the whiskey up too hard lately, and. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, it has rye in it. It's pretty much filled with calories or stuff that we don't know yet of, about at this time of year, but uh, it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty tasty. Um, okay. But if you're thinner, I can be the outside guy doing the door of the hinges. Where yeah, you he's a little bit on. Yeah, Are he's you a gonna... tiny bit on the small side. So are are you is is one of you staying on the other side of the door, and then uh, you're locking apparently, it, like okay. locking it. Uh, apparently, and... Marcel is staying outside so he doesn't have to try to get through. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because he's big, I can I can open up just enough to squeeze through without us having to take everything totally off the thing and 
we would decide which will affect the lock. Well, Maybe it's that. that's gonna take it's to hide your tracks is gonna take that's gonna that's gonna be a seal check. Um, yeah, well, I'm, that's what I'm trying to get his. I'm, I'm also gonna get his assistance when I put the thing back on, so if he if he can help hold it in place, and while I'm getting it secured on that, it should make it a little less obvious. Yeah, well, I'm probably okay, have spent. I'll, I'll probably take, have to spend some more, you know, yeah, like it as well, but I can help out. Um, yes, yeah, I'm so actually not entirely sure that I'm at that location. <clears throat> well, maybe you, you know, maybe you tried to watch the the dad leave, and then you turned around and sort of headed back to the house. Eventually, kind of. Um, Always hmm. best to keep the uh, players together. It makes it easier work for the game master. <laughs> so I have no problem with that. Okay. Assuming nobody else does either. So if you're helping each other, but so he, the, relocking the door though is going to be hard. Um, mm -hmm. And putting it back on its hinges, making it look like you did weren't in there, mm -hmm. taking a sample, you know, um, get it because Marcel, Dar, um, Dr. Pierce needs to get in there to get a sample. Well, or he uh, just hand me the he could just hand me the jars, and I can take the samples. Yeah. Okay. But after you lock the door, like relock the door, how are you getting out? Uh, well, I, um, well, I, I'm just going to based on the experience. The one time I did the thing, I was of course I was rolled a little in. I was able to pry it up just to where I was able to swing. The other with the side of the door with hinges, just to kind of take it up and off a little ways, uh, and it never disengaged the lock. It put strain on the lock, but it didn't disengage. But but then of course I was um, three inches short, three or four inches short than I am now, which is at five foot four. So I was say basically five one. So and real and really skinny at that point really in time. Skinny. So yeah. yeah, I don't know this. Uh, this guy's not big, but he's uh, well. He, he's the average size 50 so okay okay so nobody has nobody has lock picking nope. i would take mm -hmm. i would take mechanical repair okay or maybe stealth or sleight of hand okay if any just okay. oh i've got let's see here i don't have stealth i've got sleight, I don't have sleight of hand yeah i've got uh, 10 in several of those yeah, yeah. i'm gonna say here okay Mechanical. So if you're all helping each other, then you can have two bonus dice. Okay, cool. I'm going to go with mechanical repair, but I have a 35 in edge. That's my highest thing I have. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you can you can roll with two bonus dice to do mechanical repair. Okay. Okay. 43. Two. Two total. Uh, uh, well, I, I, yeah, two, two total. Yes, uh, I, I rolled forty three, yeah. and then you just rolled the, the. Uh, oh, actually, I rolled both of them. Okay, so it would have been, uh, it would have been twenty two then. Then if I hadn't rolled, I didn't need to roll the, the, single digits, okay, so, ten, digits. But a regular, so regular success. Well, no. Uh, so, well, yeah, yeah, 35, if that's regular success, yeah. I think. Let yeah. me see. Uh, so 35, let's see, what is... No. Uh, that would be 7 is seven is uh, actually an extreme. And so 17 so is... And 17 is a hard, so... Uh, well, like I said, okay, the first one roll, I, I shouldn't have rolled the second... The second um, single digit. You just need to roll the the ten, right? Right. Yeah. First, I rolled like a I rolled a forty two, and then I turned and re rolled it again and got a and got a uh, zero two. So I guess it, well same thing. It'd be it'd still be zero two then, even if I hadn't re rolled it. Uh, I, even if I hadn't re rolled the uh, uh, the one die, just the ten die. Okay. Correct. Am I, um, am I correct yeah, on that? I was looking for I was looking for a hard to yeah. 
to actually oh, that, get the, that, you know, the yeah. have it relocked and then yeah. have it not look like it's been jammed off its hinges. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, either okay. way, I've got uh, either way that's that's that works. I've got, at least got a hard. If, if I don't have an extreme, I at least have a hard on that second roll. Okay. So um <clears throat> There's, but uh, there you do find like there is like a little tunnel that seems to go, and it's pitch black. I ain't, go, yeah. I ain't going down that thing. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was asking, I was like, how are you going to relock the door and get out? Are you taking the tunnel? Yeah. No, um, no, 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 no. Um, we've, just, okay. we've just heard stuff about ghouls. I ain't going anywhere near that tunnel. <laughs> um. Yeah, but you. So you can get your sample of this um, mystery drug. Um, and then you have all of these, um, these different projects that um, are connected to the, to the, to the family. Does he, uh, does he have anything circled on any of these uh, clippings that he got? Um, there's, they're all just kind of. Um, just clippings, yeah. They're either related to the different construction projects that mm. like he's, you know, has worked on or is working on, or they're related to these bodies. Right. But, he, but I mean, yeah, which which we which we figured out ourselves on this, but so but he doesn't have anything particular in any of the articles underlined or anything or circled or anything like that, right? No, and and um Every the, long shot uh, just, like, clippings. Yeah, just they're, they're yeah. just clippings. Okay. Yeah, it was a long shot, but I figured I'd ask. Yeah. Yeah. But there's um obviously like some some digging, you know, or some like there's um this kind of like bluish clay that has been dug out and then there's no trace of it like in the um like it was pretty well hidden this little tunnel um like you don't see any dirt piles around it or anything like that so it's probably not new okay yeah and it's big enough to fit this guy who is you know he's big he's like mm -hmm. six foot four or something like that okay uh... or tall at least Okay, so um, let's uh, thank the uh, maid and get out of this house. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you are are you telling Liz? You're or you're you're just like telling that you're her that you're leaving. I'm I'm, I'm telling I'm telling I'm whispering to to Marcel. Let's thank the maid and get out of this house now. And I'll tell you what I saw. <laughs> yeah. Um. So on our way out, um, on the on this, uh, Arch doesn't want because he's with us. Unless he doesn't want to investigate further, I will look out for the maid or for Julia and be like, okay, thank you, darling. Uh, we found what we needed. We need some time to research what we found and uh, uh, pardon us for the intrusion, of course. Uh. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be in touch. If I'm speaking with Julia, I'm like, I'm going to telephone you. No, no. She, she, she's at a, she's at a little hotel. Uh, okay. I mean, a little uh, um, beach row or I mean, anyway, a little cafe around uh, the corner. I'm going to, I'm going to be picking her up and taking her to her sister. So we'll be speaking to uh, the maid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay. Then we are talking to the maid. Like, uh, yeah. thank you so much. We, we found what we needed. You need not to worry um we'll keep in touch essentially yeah so she's at the cafe you know around the corner and and liz just kind of greets you says goodbye um and um the baby is of course crying and then she's trying to cover it up and and you know oh t -t -t -t. um and then you know, like, oh, don't, don't bite. Um, <laughs> and she gets it near her breast, you know. Um, and, uh, and she says, "Well, J Joseph, could you, would you be so kind? Could you drive me?" Absolutely, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> where are the rest of you? Are you, are you walking? Or are you taking the cab? Or 
Mm-hmm. Probably put the tab back. Yes, the cab sounds good. Okay. Dr. Pierce? Um, how far is the family staying from my residence? I I'm the family doctor. Um, yeah, you're you're in the same neighborhood. Like your your um residence is in the same neighborhood. So you're like walking distance. Uh, yeah, considering my uh imposing stature. Of course, I'm also going to take the cap. I have <laughs> no movement whatsoever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, yeah, everybody piles into the cab. And then um, she, Julia wants you to drive her to Shoreditch, um, which is kind of like outside London it's like a shishi like kind of rich neighborhood um and uh so if you want to drop off Dr. Pierce at his house <laughs> you could definitely do that um but she wants you to take her kind of out of the city in sort of like suburbs that's probably a good idea yeah Okay. Uh, right. Up to I you. Guess we meet. Yeah. We. we yeah. When. Okay. Well, Archie, are you coming with us? Or are you? Are we? Are you going to meet us back at? Uh... I will probably meet you back at the headquarters. Uh, my intentions right now are to gather as many newspapers as I can get my hand on about the various deaths of the tunnel project snag a book on rituals from Moreland's and then sit down and uh, with a map jot out where each of the uh, deaths has occurred to see if I can find a pattern. Oh, excellent. Excellent. That's a brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. Because that tunnel project has been mentioned way too often for it not to be of importance. Mm -hmm. And we found, uh, I mean, he, he was taking clippings of his own project. I mean, yeah. Why would he? Why would he need newspaper clippings of his own project? Yeah. Well, sorry, it was all about the um the the body parts, like in the well, the, body or the, oh, yeah. the bodies, you know, like that were kind of washing up around the area. Okay. But uh, yeah, I, I suspect he. Doing. Yeah, I, I suspect he he's realizing that maybe something he's doing is having some connection that he doesn't know about for these things. Because otherwise, I think he'd keep the clippings way away from him. He would not have anything to do with the clippings if he was connected with it. Yes, we don't know because criminal masterminds are such geniuses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we don't know anything about criminal psychology. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we don't know anything about trophies and this, that, the other. So. <laughs> This is, Joseph's just, this is Joseph's just, oh, well, surely if he was responsible for yeah. some of this, he wouldn't keep evidence that he was interested in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they need some electroshock therapy. That's the general consensus on the criminals uh, around that uh, time. <laughs> well, he could he could just say that he was, um, you know, interested in these, uh, these, these uh, strange um murders or these bodies that were showing up around his construction project yeah, he it's was when, just scrapbooking yeah mm -hmm. it's when they find the fingers that's when things get mm -hmm. awkward you know he needs to he needs mm -hmm. to be back with the uh, good old dr freud it's an upstanding uprising doctor in the ranks and he's talking about just speaking to fill your weird hobbies uh yeah Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Don't ask me. I don't know anything about any of this. All right. So um, who is going to shortage? I've already stated what my character is doing. So mm -hmm. Not me. Yeah. Dr. Pierce, are you going to? 
at home or are you going to go? Um, I think I'm going to head uh, home. Of course, after taking the samples uh, that Joseph extracted from there. Um, I'm prepping them for uh, some lab work at uh, my lab, at my workplace or something like that, uh, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So taking some time to prepare. I don't have anything at home because uh, my home is my off-work refuge. So um, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to prepare the samples. To, uh, what time is it? I'm sorry. I forgot your question for the gym. Well, it would have been the morning. Right. Oh, the morning. Okay. 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 Yeah. So like uh, 10 a.m. or so, but it's going to take a while to get, I mean, sorry, it's going to take a while for them to get out of town and then, you know, do, do what they're doing. Um, then I'm going to talk with Joseph if he can drop me off at uh, my workplace. It's better than at my residence at my home. Okay. Yeah. No yeah, problem. Yeah. That, that's, we're changing that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's do to... Archie first. Um, so you're specifically looking for like rituals? Yeah, I'm looking for something that can match up. Mm -hmm. Um, like the ritual of whatever needs needs to be done here, 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 and here, and I'll compare it to a map of the uh of where the deaths have happened. Um, basically, I'm looking for the pentagram that yeah. always <laughs> seems to pop up. And it's maybe an occult? Yes. Is there any way I can mm. uh, take extra time to boost my, uh, my uh, occult role? Or is it the only way to do that luck? Um, yeah, you could just take your time, you know, just say that you're doing a few, taking a few hours to go through all of your books and stuff. Like it's yes. going to take, um, take a while like, for Joseph to. I would like to take the entire day if possible. My okay. cult currently is 37. Well, okay. So when you, when you roll with a bonus dice, you reroll oh. the, the higher, the tens. Okay. Yeah, so and take that's whichever was is better for you. Earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, if you're, yeah, I mean, if you're doing this all day, that's, you can, you can have two bonus dice. Okay. That works. Yeah. Die roller online. It's a two to, uh, bonus dice. Yeah. So you can reroll both. You can reroll the tens and the, um. Oh, okay. So I, I was thinking you did one dot roll and then oh. another roll. Okay, so I didn't screw up when I was doing the because when the, when I did the uh, um, re-roll, I re-rolled both dice and I thought I'd screwed up. But so if I can have uh, two bonus dice that I didn't exactly know yeah. what I was supposed to do. Okay, with two, yeah. But like a normal a normal bonus dice is you roll re-roll one. Tens. Yeah, the, the ten. Yeah, exactly. I rolled a grand total of thirty. So. I made so it, but not that great. It's a normal, normal success. Um, yes, I believe so. Yeah. So you come across a a ritual um, that involves like stitching together body parts um, to make like a sort of a flesh golem, um, and it's like um, the basically it's a kind of like an assassin. Um, and you can give it like a command. You can say, do this. Um, or like, uh, that's what people would typically use it for. They would say, go kill this person. And then once it has done its task, then it can die. And then it would so sort of just melt into black ichor. Um, and uh, that like would involve sewing together body parts to make like a Frankenstein monster. But once it's done with its command, then it can die and it and then it kind of just melts into goo. Um and oh, then no, black goo. Yeah. Um the uh some of these the you notice that um 
all of these, like all of these projects are all connected to tunnels. Um, <clears throat> either the sewer system or the mortuary, which is connected to the graveyard, you know, which is like, and they're just like, they're kind of all over, but connected. They're all goal related. Yeah, they're all connected to the sewers um, or to the tunnels and even the Greenwich gas, gas works because they're, um, that's part of the the tunnel project is that there's, you know, these gas lines that are being dug. Oh, great. We're up against the Morlock. Yeah, you're, you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you also come across um, more information about this cult, um, the cult of Mordigian. I was really, really hoping you would not bring up that name. <laughs> <laughs> the Charnel God. Um, and uh, there are some things that are slightly in your favor. Um, they say that as far as like the cults go, they're slightly benign. They don't um they don't want to kill people and eat them. They just want to eat dead bodies. Um they uh and then as long as you're respectful of their turf, you don't go into their catacombs and you leave them to their business and uh their weird rituals. And like, the uh and the uh, project is happily digging straight into their uh, places. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna gather up all this stuff that I've learned <laughs> and return the uh the books <laughs> to the proper place so that you know I can keep my job <laughs> with Miss Moreland. Yeah. And then I will take what I've gathered and head back to the headquarters to share this with everybody else. Mm-hmm. And that should be me for the day. Okay. Yeah. Um, and don't forget to check off your uh, occult. Yes. Doing that right now. Okay. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. Knock something over. No real damage done. Yeah. All right. And then let's do Dr. Pierce. Um, so are you trying to figure out... Um, what's in this um this file is that what you said yeah yeah um if it's some kind of formaldehyde or something to conserve this uh body parts oh that okay um so you you know what it is immediately it's vinegar oh so they're just pickled they're just yeah. pickled fingers um and then but in the um in the little medicine vials there is a couple of um um a couple of things like a few different little medicine vials um and uh w one of them it seems to be um <clears throat> or actually can i get a medicine yeah yeah you more so than you can that's a 79 a 79 uh, so wait what's your, what's your medicine it's pretty good though right uh, you know what i mean if you're taking all day to do this too you can have a bonus dice too uh, yeah i think i will take that because spending that much luck is what is it? Yeah. You're like you have like sixty medicine or something, don't you? Uh, fifty-five. Fifty-five. Okay, the bonus die brought it down to fifty-nine. I'm going to spend for luck to uh, pass if it's allowed. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, luck grows back. <laughs> um, <laughs> so in the in one of the vials. Um, there is, it's like, um, you know, it, it is like some kind of a tincture. Um, there is, um, it seems to be some blood in it and then like some kind of maybe like a blood, some kind of like an alcohol or something to thin it, keep it from coagulating. 
and then like some uh, and some minerals and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of similar to what you prescribed, which you gave the baby that for its anemia. Um, but it's a like a you know definitely has like blood in it. Um, and uh, and then there is another the the other vial you know it stinks like it stinks of like um uh medicine but you can't really you can't really determine what exactly it is not okay. with a regular at least okay i gotta put my hat back on before i blind all you poor people <laughs> <laughs> oh, i think God. we can try <laughs> um and then Wait, Jude, did you say that you, were you taking the day to kind of do anything? Yeah, I did that library role. And then, uh, you know, I spent some time at the library and then I uh, went back to the um, headquarters to wait for everybody else to yeah. show up. Uh, when um, uh, Archie comes back, I'll fill him in. Okay. What I found out. Yeah. Um, so, Joseph, it just takes you a long time to, you know, there's a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. You know, get out of the city and then back. Um, and uh, so by the time you get back, it's like, it takes, it takes you a few hours to do that. And everybody has been doing all these other things. Um, but um, it seems like Julia's family, like on both sides, they have some money. Like not necessarily that mm -hmm. Peter was marrying up, but, um, you know, her, her, her mom comes out, welcomes her with open arms and, uh, <laughs> um is happy to see the baby and the baby's crying and freaking out and she's like oh you know so cute what a cute little baby crying craving blood how grandmothers do you know <laughs> um but you can all meet up again at uh hq at night Oak. Did uh, while well, in the entire drive, did did she start talking about anything? Well, it's, you're, at, you're out like you're on the top, right? Like oh, driving, that's and right. they're that's inside, right, yeah. like in the yeah, okay. carriage, right? Right, that's right. Yeah, okay, no, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but she thanks you, and and she kind of like gives you like the you know like the wink like i hope you find i hope you you figure out what's what's really happening thank you so much you know um doesn't give you the secret handshake but it seems yeah. like she's confiding in you that's yeah. that's wink wink knowing glance yeah yeah, yeah. i'm gonna uh, take care of my we're, baby we're, yeah we're certainly gonna try poor little thing i mean whatever it is that's happening to it you know it's just a little baby you know um, I think, uh, or, or I told Liz to, Liz is going to come and she's going to stay here with me as well. So I wouldn't try, don't, um, don't try looking for, or if, if you go back to the house, don't try to let Liz let you in again. Okay. Um, so, but it's like nighttime now, you know? And you're all back at your age. So you're on the Isle of Dogs is where the agency is. And you are next to the police station. You're next to the Naval College. And never forget, uh, Dog Heaven is located right next oh, to Cat Hell. <laughs> 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 I don't know why they call it the Isle of Dogs. I've always, I, I should look that up. I'm curious yeah, about that. Yeah, there's a reason for it, but I don't remember what it was. I think uh, it has to do with the plague. 
Oh, yeah, I think it does too. Probably yeah. where they put the dogs during the plague. Because they thought that the dogs were responsible. Yeah. Well, and then and, they, and, and, they killed the dogs. They killed the dogs, but they didn't kill the rats. Like the yeah, the rats were yeah. the, like that was probably one of the worst things that they could have done was kill the dogs. Well, they were killing the worst. They killed cats, they but yeah. they were witches. Yeah. They thought yeah. they were witches familiars. So yeah. But it's, it's, it's probably one of the worst things that they could have done for the plague. Well, also walling people up in their neighborhoods so that they, you know, there's a lot yeah. of horrible things that happen during the plague. That, yeah, which would probably not have stopped the plague at all because the police could probably get out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it was like the it was the rats, like they were the problem. Oh, yeah, they were the plague. They, they yeah, it wasn't yeah. the rats themselves. They carried fleas that, that, that carried the plague. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, and let us let us not forget the top of the line sewer management they had back then. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh -huh. They literally threw it out the window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be right back. I'm grabbing a soda. Okay. okay. Um, do we want to take a short little break? Yeah, we'll yeah. be good. Sure. Okay. Ten? Okay, sure thing. Ten's good. 